Hello my fellow gamers and welcome back to another Bench Place video. So today I have my review of The Walking Dead 165 titled Opportunity. Now just, just telling from the cover, um, the saviors are probably going to be attacking because it has been pointing that in the last two panels of the last two issues like um, 164 and 163. Now. I'm guessing this is the issue where they are most probably going to attack the ruins of Alexandria. But uh, I did read this on the way here, so I'm going to go back through it and just go through it with you. Uh, base, uh, basically, we pick up where we left off with Rick and Negan. Negan just fighting away. Uh, yes, he's been under. He's been th he's been trapped in the cell after the two-year war. He's now his joyful self again. He's he's like, uh, <laughs> but instead of rapidly rapidly putting my penis into a million vaginas, I'm pushing this knife into rot rotted fucking skulls. But actually, before I even before I continue on with this issue, I have to drop a massive, massive spoiler alert here because I don't want to ruin this issue for anyone who has not read the issue yet. If you have read the issue, please continue watching this video because I love you all. But yeah, we move on. Negan nearly gets bit. Rick saves him after that. And then we move over to Sid Deek, who you can see from, uh, I think he was originally introduced in like 127, but we didn't know who he was. But then we know he's from like the ocean, or who was with Michonne, but they find out about Eugene's radio, which was kind of surprising. Um, and also, like, the woman, I guess, Stephanie from Ohio. Um, yeah, she makes contact, and obviously Sadiq hears it. They're going to try and get contact. So I think when Eugene, or when the Walker situation is sorted, Eugene will probably tell them about the Ohio lot. More Alexandrians just fighting. Rick and Negan again. It's just everyone's fighting. Uh, you've now got people from the hilltop. Uh, Alexandria, like Dwight and everyone. Eugene, Andrea. Now, obviously their initial plan was to get them to the ocean. And honestly, I love this. That. Double page spreads are my favourite. Because it really captures an image. I mean, it's amazing. Like they like it's a good plan. It's like dropping them all into the into the into the ocean. That's a really good plan. Uh, Eugene here, yeah. it's beautiful, really. It's like a machine, but it's like I love that page spread because it really captures the image of a character. I don't know if you can really see that well, but it really captures the image of a character. It really builds them up, and it just they just look awesome. So thank you, Charlie Adlard. For your brilliant, brilliant work. I, I salute you, my friend. Um, just more fighting throughout the issue. And then you get like this massive... At the end of here, it says, like, Dwight, where, like, where's Heath? But then, obviously, I think one of them points out that the saviors are here. Saviors are attacking. Which, that is a good, that is a good thing. Because the panel does look relatable to the cover. Which is really good noticeable. Because it's like a... It's like a panel in the story, but then it obviously isn't, but it's like, it's kind of hinting it. Uh, funny line from Sherry here, uh, looks like Dwight and his friends are in need of some saviours. Haha, <laughs> funny joke of their actual group name. Uh, John, uh, he's about to kill Dwight, which which was a bit scary. He says, like, I've always hated you. I don't know, he just seems like a bit of an asshole. Um, yeah, Eugene... Like, he sounds the horn, he nearly gets boxed in, he nearly dies, which was really scary, but then obviously Andrea and the rest of the group save him, Eugene run faster, but then Andrea goes in to save him, they make it out together, and I have to say, this actually, this, while I was reading this on, um, I was in, I was in the city, just coming back from my comic shop, I read this in the middle of the town, there were loads of people around me, I saw this last panel, I wanted to shout no, but I didn't. I literally, my jaw just dropped. Andrea has been bit. Andrea's been bit. 
I literally have no words for like that. That as a whole, I literally have nothing to say. She's been bit, and obviously, if you saw from cover 167, I think that's kind of like making it more worrying because obviously Andrea's kneeling with Rick, and guessing at that point they're gonna have to. She's gonna have to tell him about the bite. And then the original Atlanta 4 in the comic book series is about to become the Atlanta 3. If she does die. if Because honestly, that oh shit. I literally wanted to scream. I li I could not, like, my emotion. Because obviously we've known Andrea since issue 3. Which is like right at the start. I mean, from the first trade paperback. That is immense. And obviously it's like, we've seen her develop throughout from losing Amy in issue 5 of the, the prison Dale, Billy, Ben everyone even getting with Rick it's like loving him they don't die like she had an issue like during March to War she says to Rick we don't die but obviously now it's it's very very different and it's, it's it's scary to be honest with you because I don't know how Rick is going to react to the bite. But anyway, out of ten, solid nine, solid nine and a half, nine and a half for that ending. It's really keeping me on the edge of my seat until April because that's when 166 comes out, and then soon 167, and then in May, no, no, June is 168. Image, Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adlard. You surely know how to leave us on a fucking cliffhanger. But that's what I love about this story. Because they leave it at such... It's so good. And then obviously, if you wait until the 7th of March, the volume 27. So like, just one of these collects the whole six issues. Uh, that for the Whisperer War will be out on the 7th of March, but I have obviously collected all the single issues, but I most probably will be getting the trade paperback as well, just to complete a collection, just cause. Um, but anyway guys, this is the end of the review slash talk, what I think about it sort of thing, I'm just going to put it as a comic review. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and a comment down below, if, actually, let me know in the comments what you think is what what do you think of 165 because in my opinion it's a really good issue and what do you think is going to happen to Andrea in obviously now could do you think she's going to die do you think they'll find some way for her to live i don't know but i am i think because of that bite i think she's going to die i don't know but anyway guys um just game on and i'll see you in the next video i'll see you later